Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm helping a young lady re recreate this logo. I actually drew this one and sent it to her, and she cut it out and likes it. And she just asked me how I did it. And it's kind of easy. She actually was trying to, you know, like use a clip art, a colored clip art of a honeycomb. And it's just not going to work. There's too much work involved. And so all I did to draw this honeycomb is I took my polygon tool, made it six-sided, held down my control so we're equal, and then just make your distance, make sure your ratio is locked and make your distance an even number. So we're at one inch. I'm going to change my nudge distance to one inch. I'm going to control D and move it over one time and then just keep hitting control D. Let's move these down a little bit so we can work with it. You could actually control G that so you won't mess up and then control D. And then you're going to want to grab that top peak node, I'm going to call it. Grab that node right there and just bring it in. And then you control D and make another one. Grab that same node and it should just pop to it. And then you just control D and it'll just keep making them. Then just take them and color them in at different uh, un, unsymmetrical, unrandom, or random order. And it's going to look like this. So how did I make the B and the cross real quick? I just took a letter that was close. I left click, right click, and got an, an outline of the pen or of the deal. So now we need to figure out the width of that. So why don't I just take a rectangle and just draw a rectangle inside that, make it a little bit longer. So now your crossbar is going to be the same. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. Let's move it up just a hair, holding down the control button so we don't move it. Now, if you try to enlarge this, it's going to enlarge one side, and now you're not going to be equal. If you will hold down the shift key and and enlarge it. It enlarges it from both directions. Select them both and go up here and weld. Go up to object, power clip. Well, you need to collect what you're going to power click. Select on it. Object, power clip, place inside frame. And there you have it. Now I would do a couple things a little bit different. You would, uh, whoop. You could um, edit the power clip so you can move it around and get different blacks in different spots. You know, kind of look at it, what's going to be the best for you. That's probably the best way to do it because you can kind of see what it looks like. And then just hit OK. Now we need to make the outline of the B itself a little thicker. And it was always scale with objects. So if you make this bigger or smaller. So that's how I made the B with a cross in it out of honeycomb. Now, as always, let's back up here. Before I would do anything and you've taken the time to make this honeycomb, I would make a duplicate of it, control D, and just put it off to the side and then make another duplicate. In case you mess up, you don't have to redraw this. Anyway, I'm actually going to help her with another problem. She's text the path, but I'm going to, so the video won't be so long. I'm going to make it two videos. So this is off center, very easily corrected. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.